Okay, so here's going to be an example problem of uh, solving quadratic equations by factoring. So instead of just factoring, now we're going to find where's the graph of that quadratic across the x-axis. So here we have a, a pretty complex one, and, and we have numbers on both sides of the equal sign, which means our first step is to get a 0 on one side and everything else on the other by adding 2x to both sides and subtracting 13 from both sides. Next step is to go to the factoring map, and the first step is to factor out a common factor, and lo and behold, we have a common factor. The common factor that we have here is going to be 3. So we divide the 3 out of all three terms and um, take it out of the 6x squared, that leaves us 2x squared. We take the 3 out of the 9x, that leaves us the 3x, and we take the 3 out of the negative 27, and that gives us a 9. Now we can choose our own method. Well, 2 is a prime number, so we can, use, uh, we can use trial and error here, or we could choose to use four-step factoring. Either one would be fine. Um, in this case, uh, it looks like we want to try uh, four-step factoring. We did uh, 2 times negative 9 equals negative 18, and we're going to find the factors of negative 18 that add to positive 3, and those are positive 6 and negative 3. So we're going to rewrite the problem with uh, our four terms. And then we're going to uh, factor out the, the 2x in the first parentheses. And we're going to factor out the negative 3 in the second parentheses. And then we're going to factor again. Factor out the common factor x plus 3. And that will leave us a 2x minus 3 in the brackets. So our factors are 3 and 2x minus 3 and x plus 3. Now, what happens with that 3? Really nothing here. Because we have an equal sign, um, we're going to have to apply the zero product rule. And so is there any way we can make that 3 that's out in front of the parentheses equal to 0? No. So it's not going to be part of our answer. Uh, it just really is going to change the shape of our graph. And and uh, make it either fatter or skinnier, depending on what that number is. And, uh, but we can uh, solve the 2x minus 3 and the x plus 3, use the zero product rule there. So um, the answers uh, are going to be 3 halves or negative 3. How are those the answers? Well, if you can plug in a negative 3 in for x in the second parentheses, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Same idea in the first parentheses. If you solve 2x minus 3 equals 0, uh, x will be equal to 3 halves.